We are the Automated Pellet Feeder Group. Our group is composed of Adam, Rebecca, Teresa, Tyler, and Min. Our advisor is Dr. Jessica Vold. The Mechanical Engineering Department recently acquired a new pellet-fed 3D printer. With a large print area of nearing one cubic meter, this printer may require attention to refill at various times during those large prints. The objective of our project is to automate the filling portion of these check-ins. The constraints of our design is that the device has to be a freestanding gravimetric system that would automatically supply pellets when the hopper is low. An individual should be able to easily fill and empty the storage container. The final design stands 4 foot 2 inches tall and is a volume of 0.26 cubic meters. An estimated 240 pounds of material will be stored in a full container. Our device can be split into three sections. Firstly, the storage container. The storage container is made from a 96 by 72 inch sheet of 12 gauge carbon steel. With the help of Sanders metals, the cuts were bent to 90 degrees and those were welded together. The remaining steel was used to add a slight incline at the bottom to funnel pellets into the exit hole. Assuming an average bulk density for the plastic pellets in FEA was performed, an estimated capacity of 240 pounds was used to find the max deformation of 50 micrometers occurring in the container. Maximum stress under the same scenario was found to be 1.2 kpsi. This analysis showed that we were well below any failure. The second portion is the transportation system. The transportation system uses a Venturi vacuum which can swiftly pick up and transport low density materials horizontally and vertically. Compressed air is ran through a pressure regulator set to 80 psi and a solenoid before reaching the vacuum. PVC joints are used to connect the Venturi vacuum and ball valve. The ball valve allows easy emptying into buckets or pails. Recycled PET was used to 3D print parts made to connect the vacuum tube to the 3D printer. RE3D provided the STL files for us to modify. The base of the hopper was extended and three holes were added for the exit tube, photoresistor, and LED light. A hole was added to the lid and a new component was made to contain the tube and allow air to exit. The final section is measurements. Python and Raspberry Pi were used for the photoresistor, LED, solenoid, and load cells. Light from the LED will trigger resistance change in the photoresistor when the hopper is low. The solenoid will allow compressed air to flow through the Venturi vacuum until a reading from the load cells triggers the solenoid closed. The system requires users to enter a bulk density for the pellets and the percent fill to determine the amount of mass to remove from the storage container.